Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Wire. We're on to episode 6, season 3. Um, McNulty is hitting dead end after dead end. Trying to get the whereabouts and the identity of this Jane. Uh, sorry, anyone who knows the Jane Doe, not whereabouts. She's dead. <laughs> um, he tried even with all of them in lockup. Not getting anywhere because they want out, obviously. And don't want to be shipped back off to wherever the hell it is they came from. Probably Eastern Europe. And Nick, uh, with Ziggy, I mean, first of all, he's lost his car because they've torched it. But he's figured out what they want all these chemicals for. Turning cocoa leaves into cocaine. I mean, ingenious. I didn't know what the mixed cocktail of, of chemicals was that they wanted, but he's identified just exactly what the Greek and the rest of them are up to. Um, so right, let's carry on. Just before I do, if you are enjoying episodes with wine and you haven't already subscribed, there's a red button down here. Why don't you click it and we will carry on with episode six. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Surely do. <coughs> About 29. About. Yeah, about. And where do you live? No place in particular, ma'am. You're homeless? And the wind, so to speak. I shoot people. <laughs> I rip and run. You... I rob drug dealers. Mr. Little, how does a man rob drug dealers for eight or nine years and live to tell about it? Yeah, because he's a badass. <laughs> and he's smart with it. Day to time, I suppose. Well, the union is also a little threadbare. They paid the taxes on Union Hall almost a year late, and that was only after they got hit with liens. The books show that there's less than 100 checkers still paying dues to 1514. So where's the cash coming from? Drugs. So far, DNRs on the Union Hall phones don't show much. Not much to track. What's with those hand-to-hands? Anything connect? We're buying from a lot of white boys. O'Donnell Heights, Greek Town, Highland Town, above the park. Above the park. They monitor what comes in and out of the port. Yep. That's what they do. That's their value. They're bringing the shit in? They're coming into Baltimore. Who's working? Are they club dancing, whoring? We need to plug into that circuit. Hey, yo, what up, bird? <laughs> For the record, you are identifying the defendant, Marquise Hilton. It's just bird to me. Word on the street is, oh, my, ain't nowhere near them rises when the shit pop. Street said a little cocksucker was on the east side sticking up some Ashland Avenue niggas. It's the word on the street, huh? Mr. Little, do you recognize this particular weapon? Yeah, that's Bird's gun, the 380. You've seen it before? Bird always flashing that thing. So you'd actually seen it before the day in question? You have the chemicals? I can get them as much as you want. When? I was going to do something this week. He got into a beef with these East Baltimore guys. Drug dealer by the name of Cheese took his car, burned it. Now he's saying he's gonna dust Zig if he doesn't pay. I think he'd easy for him a car. Yeah, Malaka. Yeah, Malaka. Right. Then you pay your debt. Huh. It's not quite that easy. It was 2700 You killed Cheese, and we're gonna have a fight with his people, right? A year down the road, we don't have the muscle to go talk to this guy. Make things right. I was hoping maybe you do. You walk the streets of Baltimore with a gun, taking what you want when you want it, willing to use violence when your demands aren't met. I do credit you, right? You, you say you aren't here testifying against the defendant because of any deal you made with police. True that. You are feeding off the violence and the despair of the drug trade. You are a parasite who leeches off Just like you, the culture man. of drugs. Excuse me? <laughs> I got the shotgun. We got the briefcase. It's on the game, though, right? Maybe you're right. Maybe we should just keep looking. Dude, what we the fuck are you doing? Thing. And you think there'll be some new open houses this Sunday? <laughs> Dinner and a movie. Come on, stop it. Why not? I don't get why this couldn't that just be a placard? <laughs> Dinner and a movie, then I'll walk you to the door, you shake my hand and tell me to go fuck myself like you should have done way back when. Friday. You pay for the sitter. If Stringer Bell reaching all the way past Baltimore with this kind of work, then we got a real mystery going on, don't we? You sure your people? 
My cousin up in there, he on it. Right. Uh. You should try this place called Night Shift down off of Hollabird. I have a friend who works there, and she worked with a bunch of Russian girls last year for about three months. You have no problem. Really? No. To start, he wants you to pay 54. You will get the money for the car that burned. Yeah? Yeah. Him, we don't know. But the one he calls boss, him, we know. I know you don't think I'm going down to that club just to look at pussy. <laughs> I know you don't need better than that. That's why Most of them women are dykes. Cheryl, it's police work. What? So that's supposed to make me feel better? Kima's down the street doing her detective thing? Wait, 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 hang on a minute. You're blowing this a little bit out of proportion. If this was a male-female relationship here, would you be having the same conversation with him? I mean, I mean... I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> because same-sex relationships and marriages can sometimes be a lot more intense on the jealousy side of things. A man's expected to look... She's thinking she's doing the same thing to her, whatever. The Atlantic light on the day the can with the women was offloaded. The boxes are containers. This is why she got all This off. one's being offloaded and set on a chassis. Here's the time, 10.31 Chassis. Hours. RTG. Rubber tire gantry. So from ship to stack took uh, six minutes. That's the container number of the can with the women in it. See that? It was never entered by the checker, so as far as the computer's concerned, it no longer exists. It doesn't exist. And yeah. Zubatka says that uh, that can happen when the radio waves get knocked down. Or... 15, 12 hours. I find it two hours after that. Uh, so for nearly gap. four hours, it's out on the docks, unaccounted for. So what's the plan? Not with its contents. Database on this computer has records for every ship that berthed at Patapsco over the last two years. Well, how many ships are we talking about? Hundreds. I would say before them hoes got here, and they better make sure I'm here after they leave. So, how long ago did they come through? Six months back was the last batch. Did Just they all just turn up at once? It was a woman. She was like the madam who handled the cash, but I ain't giving that. Is this our Jane Doe, maybe? Duty? She was something. They was making so much money with them new girls, they started letting some of their regular dancers go. Uh, Not me, because I mean, I got clientele here, but some of the others. The men they got handling them are always with them. Right there to take them from whatever motel you're using to the yeah. club and back. Never let them out of the side. Right there when they need to go get food or go to the right aid. I mean, they barely let them girls go to the bathroom by themselves. Yeah. And if they see one getting too close to the Johns, that's when they move the whole crew to another town, you know? They had about a third of that space hidden behind a fake wall. A few flashlights, some junk food, some water. A portable toilet they had to share. And they were here for one purpose. That regardless of this jury's verdict, he is the victim of wholesale perjury on the part of the state's key witness. Your Honor, not only will there be no bond pending sentencing, but as far as I'm concerned, the pre-sentencing report is a mere formality. Who testified in this very courtroom. He did so in cold blood and for pay. Um, no. <laughs> See you at sentencing. You was done. Wow, that worked out. That was ceremonial life, fuck. <clears throat> you come see me down a cut, you punk ass snitch. I shove a shit in your cocksucker throat. You think on it, bird. We got something else to do today? Yeah, last bit of business. Well, this is your business. Now, this is retirement. And after today, I'm retired. Yeah. You're down to nothing. No, In he isn't. Country, <laughs> supermarkets are cathedrals. I worry for you, buddy. How your people's dog? Sam? Good? It's the man with the raggedy ass Camaro. Wasn't mine, it was my cousin's. Wasn't all that raggedy. But the family cannot be helped. Who you telling? I got motherfucking nephews and in-laws fucking all my shit up all the time. You ain't pay my boy cheese and cheese ain't paying me, right? I ain't talking about all the money in the world. But it ain't like cheese being a position out on that corner. 27 anyway. Not 50. And we're gonna have it soon enough. Your man doubled it though. He also burned the car. You gonna come up in here having fucked up a package asking me to tell cheese who you fucked it up on. 
to pay you out $2,400. The cheese ain't gonna be happy having to pay me back. No. So I would advise y'all to give him some distance. Just so we don't come back on my cousin. We're not gonna know. Yeah, fuck it, let her go. This one to the anatomy board in the morning. Jane Doe on the paperwork. I don't actually know that when, when they are Jane Doe's and no one's accepting responsibility, no family, no one paying for funeral, no it's a state thing. Are they, are they years off your sentence. buried? Or no are doubt, they not an Avon. Cremated. It's all good, D. I want you home, D. You asked me to carry this, I'm carrying it. Boy, I might have brung you into this world, but you the one who gonna have to live in it. Tough love no, I'm still here. Me. You gotta let me live like I need to live. So that's it, me and Cheese are straight. Just stay the fuck away. Straight. That there's 2400 for Princess. She wants more than that. When I'm flush, I'm flush. You ain't gonna live forever, right? Next round's on me. Is that my son lighting hundred dollar bills like an asshole in a bar yeah. full of working stiffs? What the fuck is that? Well, you come by that kind of cash, you know you ain't had the days. Oh, definitely not. It's because my father's in the union. You don't think I want to throw you more? Oh, you throw plenty. It's just Christ, Zig. Maybe if I had listened to your mother, because she's the one always Pop. talking about you should do it's the cool. community college like your brother. Pop, she Pop, don't. Every one of those post-its is a can that disappears when it's being offloaded. The yellow slips, they show up again with legitimate cargo intact. And the pink one, like the can full of dead girls, they're all from the same shipping line, Talco. And on all of them, the same checker, this guy, Thomas Pacusa. He goes by Horseface. He's the one working. We have a pattern here. What they're doing eliminates almost all of the paper trail. As long as they can get a truck past the outbound lanes, and there's a dozen ways to do that, the only thing they leave behind is a little telltale in the computer. Our target is supposed to be Sabatka, right? I mean, on paper anyway. Maybe we can fold our investigation into yours, Lieutenant. And put my ass in the air with 14 open homicides, it might never clear. So what's the next move on this? We clone the computer and start watching what's happening on the docks in real time. Oh. What, just so we talk about everything in my life that pisses you off? Drinking, women, the work? Just trying to make conversation. On a good day, I catch crabs and count seagulls. That's not you. It wasn't me. How about a fuck for the road instead? <sighs> OK. OK. You unload this shit, you got to ditch the trucks and the trailers both. Make it look like it was a hijack, huh? Nico. Turn it around, you can make 60, 70,000. Nick, he's, he's offering, like, three, four times the value. We'll get up to white, Mike. We can make 30, 35,000. Nikki, come on, man. Mm. Half in cash, half in dope. Nikki, I can turn that package around, no problem. Yo, man, y'all didn't get any final calls this week, y'all? Yeah, we got some. Well, I ain't seen any out there. All right, man, give me a minute. Let me finish up right here real quick. <coughs> yeah. What's up? I know you got my motherfucking cigs, young. You trying to carry me, John? Nah, man. Ain't I'm not gonna sit here. Oh, man, D. <sighs> All right, episode six. I mean, he was watching him for quite a while. I'm assuming that that's the end of D. I don't think that's just he's out cold. I would normally say. If that is indeed the case, you can never tell with the way he did it that 
there's no way that would add up with the way that he just did that to how he's left him. Any postmortem would reveal that it was not as it appears to be. If he's dead, I mean, I'm assuming he is, but he could have just cut his airway and blacked him out. I don't know. I kind of hope so, but I, it's not looking favourite. Um, McNulty, right. I get he's trying to turn over a new leaf here. He's at what, where, where he is, he's been, has been forced on him because of his actions and the way that he's handled everything. But I could see exactly what was going to happen there with his ex. Why he, he thought he was just going to do that and then wake up in the morning, make some breakfast, read the newspaper and everything's back to normal and the kids come home. It's not going to be that simple. I don't actually know what it is, what the main reason was as they broke up. If, if it's been mentioned, I missed it. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments. I mean, I'm assuming it's just all of the reasons above what he what he was just discussing with her in the restaurant but she knows obviously that she's she's not ready anyway and she doesn't want the kids because we you know what kids are like the minute they see mom and dad are split and then suddenly they're in the same house together they automatically assume oh they're getting back together because you know have the understanding as, as a kid as to how complicated a relationship it can be all you want is your mom and dad you know, um, now I missed an important line of dialogue. I'll check it again when I, when I come to do the edit with what um, that guy just said to Nick. I'm assuming I mentioned it, comedy that it's that you're coming in on this deal and he's agreed half and half, 35 cash, 35 dope. But Ziggy man is just... There's a couple of characters in this show I'm not keen on, but him, I want to slap him around the head like his father is desperate but probably wanting to do either. You've got, you've got a bar full of guys there that are not getting enough work. You know all the circumstances and you're there burning $100 bills because, oh, I'm flush right now. Yeah. And how long is that going to last with the way? Nick just put his, his neck on the line there to try and sort this out with between you and Cheese and, and you, you pull this fucking stunt and you might want to stay away from him and I don't blame Nick for going go home and let me deal with this because so far every decision and move that you've made has got you exactly where you are and is into this damn mess in the first place it's all going to tie in now because of the, the missing chemicals and the trailers and, and everything that's now going to have gone missing is going to tie back in back to his dad and the fact that they're making this money on the side and it's getting I don't know I don't know whether that's going to help or probably make it worse probably make it worse I would think and I do like that it showed that they've done this paper trial they're going to clone the computer and try and get some real time evidence of what they've just discovered going back through all these records of what's come off the ship what's what containers have been tracked and logged and which ones have just vanished as they've gone off the ship that was a lot of work that was more work than they made out how quickly they've they've done it and pieced it all together and handed it over to daniels but he's right it's like with what he said i know we're, we're doing this with for valchek going after frank but I've got 14 open cases here and it's not going to look good if I go back and that's the part I haven't bothered with. You've got 14 dead girls and no leads. No leads whatsoever. So much so that McNulty is now has just let that Jane Doe go. I'm presuming the girl they spoke to in the strip club, she said they had like a madam that was taking care of him. Is that the same girl? It has to be, surely, because this is further back. And she was explaining just how, how these girls were controlled. Never let out the sight of their minders. Even when going for food and stuff. 
making sure John's go, don't go anywhere near them in case one of them gives them a hint that they might be able to get them out of the situation that they're in. The, the human trafficking and prostitution side of things is what's making all the money here, not just the drugs. Anyway, we'll be back with episode seven next. If you do want to watch any episodes of The Why um, in full length, you can over on Patreon. All you have to do is check the link in the description as always. I will be back with episode seven next week. Until then, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, red button down here would be very much appreciated. And we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Duh.